This year we have a total of 48 employees retiring from our school system. Collectively they have, you ready, 1,109 years of service. 1,109 years of service. It gets even more interesting. Incredibly, we have one employee with over 40 years of service and 16 more who are retiring with more than 30 years of service. Tonight, as we honor 36 of the 48 employees who are retiring, I want to recognize those who are unable to be here tonight for dinner. I'd like for us to show our appreciation to them by announcing their names before we get started. Deborah Anderson, Clements Middle School, 23 years of service. Deborah Clements, Newton County Theme School, 13 years of service. Nancy Cook, Rocky Plains, 12 years of service. Susan Kowalczyk, Livingston Elementary, 24 years of service. Mary McMillan, Live Oak Elementary, 16 years of service. Patrick Meacham, Indian Creek Middle School, 15 years of service. Mar Margaret, and I call her Marge, Margaret Paz, Special Education, 29 years of service. Paula Robertson, Livingston Elementary School, 33 years of service. Kathleen Smallwood, Newton County Theme School, 28 years of service. Jimmy Stansel, Newton High School, 36 years of service. Ann Faye White, West Newton Elementary, 30 years of service. James Wildman, Special Education, 23 years of service. Would you help me thank these individuals for their service with our class? At this time, we are going to recognize our 36 retirees by school or department. As your principal or supervisor comes to the front with you, please come to my right, past our board members, they would like to shake your hand and offer congratulations to you. Then proceed to my left over here until your principal or supervisor completes his or her remarks. So when, you, when we call your name, when your principal or supervisor calls your name, you come up, you walk this way, just come right in front and stand over here and the principal or your supervisor will announce um, their remarks uh, when they're here. At the end of this reception, you may pick up your engraved retirement gift at the table in the back. We'll begin our recognition ceremony with Dr. Naomi Cobb, principal of Fairview Elementary School, to be followed by the other administrators or supervisors in the, in the order as they are listed in the program. So without delay, I'd like to welcome Dr. Naomi Cobb to the podium. Good evening, I would like to call up our retirees, Ms. Pat Stansfield and Ms. Sharon Waters. Both of these are retiring from Fairview this year and they will be sorely missed. Um, Ms. Waters with 33 years of experience and Ms. Stansfield with 33 and a half years of experience. Um, I've, it's very fitting, Ms. Stansfield has um, actually started her time at Fairview when Fairview first opened and now here she is retiring from Fairview. She's currently a special needs pre-K teacher and she does an awesome job. She's taught all of her years in special education and she has a true heart for the children. I will say this, Ms. Stansfield was talking to me earlier this week actually and she told me that when she first started her career she had teachers that she looked up to and that she looked at as a role model and she thought I just wish that when I teach for a while and before I retire that I could be one of those teachers that people look up to and who is a role model and I would say Miss Stansville you succeeded in that dream of yours because she truly is a leader in our county and in our school and I can say Miss Waters 
is also a leader. She's worked at different schools. She worked at Fickwood as well. And it's only fitting that these two ladies are here together because they tell me that they began their careers carpooling together. And who would know they would end up retiring at the same time together. So I think that's awesome. Miss Waters has been in our ESOL program. I've only known her for a couple of years, but in those two years I can say that I have been very impressed with her teaching and her leadership ability. I know in other schools she was at Oak Hill and she was at Fickwood as well, and she served in leadership capacities at both of those. So these are two ladies who will be very much missed by Newton County and I feel like contributed so much to our county and the success of our county and our students. So thank you ladies for everything. Good evening, I'm Lori Thomas. I am the principal at Flint Hill Elementary and I have the honor to introduce two very special ladies to you tonight. First, we have Miss Terry Higgins, and she has been a speech therapist for 33 years, helping uh, lots of little ones get their great start and just helping them along the way. But um, Terry is very special. She, she works at our school. Uh, my first year as principal, she was at the school at um, Palmerstone when I started out. So I think both of these ladies were. So they helped train me when I was just a little tight trying to be in charge. Um, but these, these are great ladies. Terry also has just done so much at the school that's just over and beyond being a speech therapist. She has been our special ed chair to help me with FTE. And you know, she would be like, I was up till 1130 last night. And I would just, um, she is just an endless support, not of just the students, but she's always just been a trooper for her school and her county. And I just can't thank her enough for all the, all the good things that she's done for the children of Newton County. So thank you, Miss Terry Higgins. Next to Miss Terry, we have Miss Beverly Rogers. And um, Miss Rogers has had um, many hats. She has, I think, a total of 23 years of service between Rockdale and Newton County. And um, she is our person that, like, you run to that person and you say, uh, Miss Rogers, I know you're teaching fifth grade, but you're so good and I have these EIP kids that need somebody to get them to read. Okay, if that's what you need me to do. Miss Rogers, the morning show. I need a producer. You're, you're, you're very creative, and I need it to be cute and funny. Okay, guess what you need me to do? Miss Rogers, <laughs> I need a technology teacher leader for the school. Okay. <laughs> so I've come to her so many times to wear a different hat, and she can do all of that, and you wouldn't know this, but she is a magician on the side. And she can entertain you while she does these things. <laughs> so I have really enjoyed working with um, both of these ladies. But um, more than anything, our children have learned and grown and um, will we'll have a good start in life because of the work that they've done. So thank you, ladies. You will be very, very missed. Good evening, I'm Erica Anderson and I'm the principal of Live Oak Elementary. I have the pleasure of presenting to you Ms. Billy Roberts, Ms. Barbara Stevenson, Ms. Mary Haney, and Ms. Kathy Owens. There's an old adage that goes, children don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So I thank you ladies for always showing how much you care to our boys and girls. There is another adage that goes, it takes a village to raise a child. And these ladies have been welcome members in our village. They have shown how much they care to our boys and girls. They've truly given their heart and sacrificed many days to the service of boys and girls in Newton County. So on behalf of all of the staff of Live Oak, we will miss you and we thank you for your years of service. Thank you.
If you're looking at your program, I'm neither a doctor nor Lynn DiNardo. Uh, but thanks to Dr. Lynn DiNardo for the second straight year allowing me the great pleasure of honoring people that I worked with for nearly two decades at Mansfield Elementary School. My name is G.W. Davis, and if they ever do a principal emeritus, I'm applying for it. Uh, also, I'll give a quick note. There is about two dozen people in this room who I've worked with at either Mansfield or Sharp or County Office. When I was retiring, people would come up to me and say, congratulations on your retirement. And I didn't understand what they meant. I had done nothing but work my whole life and, uh, uh, since I was like nine. And I didn't understand why they were congratulating me. After two years of retirement, I understand. <laughs> congratulations. Let me tell you about these two fine women, Pam Moss and Marva K. Stewart. Both third grade teachers, both great mothers, both great teachers, both women of, uh, of values. They are women that have made Mansfield School something special. They've taught across the hall from each other for years and years now, and Mansfield is going to miss them. If I had one thing to say for them, teachers, you know how difficult parents can be. Both of these ladies' children went through Mansfield School all the way. Uh, and two, four, uh, Pam, I think only your youngest went all the way through. I mean, no, okay. But the, those kids were the most respectful, uh, the most parent honoring children. But at the same time, these two teachers were teacher honoring in how they treated the school. And that goes to me to say more about the character of the women. My hope is they enjoy retirement as much as I have, and they get as much out of their years after retirement as they put in before retirement. Thank you for your years of service. On behalf of Middle Ridge Elementary School, I'm here today to show our respect and love for an incredible woman, Miss Gwendolyn Williams. Everyone in this room knows that we don't go into teaching for the money. People become teachers to make a difference to the students that are in their classroom, to teach them that they can accomplish their goals and become whoever they want to be. For over 34 years, Gwen has made a difference. Also with her colleagues, when she sees that a teammate is in crisis or struggling, Mama Williams kicks in. Gwen showed that you can make a difference in a student's life by the day-to-day -day things that you do for them. Those small things work together to make a big difference in the lives of children. Sometimes the hardest part about teaching is just getting the students involved. Even when you pass her room during pre-planning, you know the students are going to be engaged and loved. I remember the first time I observed Miss Williams teach. January soon, soon passed, and every time I would look at her, she would look up at me in my eyes to see what my facial expression was. She had nothing to worry about. She builds background knowledge and summarizes with the best of them. She is an incredible teacher and she will be missed. This woman seldom wears the same outfit twice. She is dressed to a T, even in jeans and a t-shirt. I saw her dressed so nice, planting seeds with pre-K students and second graders digging in the dirt. So she is a beautiful person. Tell her a joke and the entire room knows she's happy because she hoots and squeals. She is wonderful. Gwen has been an amazing teacher, one of my trusted advisors, and she is also a great colleague and friend. If you're at the school late and you need someone to help you brainstorm, Gwen's there. If you get a phone call on the weekend because the alarm went off, Gwen's there. <laughs> Miss Williams, in closing, it doesn't really matter to me if you retire or not because I found you on Facebook and Twitter, and I will be calling on you throughout the year. We love you, Miss Williams.
and it's not too late to change your mind. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Brenda Gammons, principal at Oak Hill Elementary. I am very proud to stand beside three of the most professional people I've had the privilege of working with. Let me tell you just a little bit about each of them. Um, first, I have Miss Deborah McCullough, who began teaching in Newton County, and actually her first year of teaching, she taught my lead special ed teacher in a nasty pink Pepto-Bismol room. That was 1980. There have been many changes, and she's joined us at Oak Hill since Oak Hill was open. She's served on numerous county committees, numerous school committees. She was Oak Hill's first teacher of the year, and going into her classroom, she's just amazing. Her children know that she loves them, and she will be missed. Miss Linda Go oh, and she has 30 years of experience. I forgot that. Miss Linda Gorley started off in our neighbor county, Rockdale, at C.J. Hicks. Miss Gorley has 33 years of experience being a prayer professional. Uh, when she met Miss Deneen at Oak Hill, she decided that was the place for her to come, and so she came to Oak Hill. Uh, she's done numerous things. She's been a kindergarten para, a media specialist para, a pre-K para, and all around, when anything you need made, Ms. Gorley will do it. No questions asked, you want what? And it was done the next day. Uh, Ms. Gorley will be missed greatly by the students uh, who know and love her and as she loves them. Last but not least is Patricia Clayson, who's worked at Oak Hill since its opening. She was originally assigned to Livingston. She had taught at middle school, took a hiatus to have her children for around 18 years, and then came back. At Livingston, she was cut because there was not enough enrollment, and to Oak Hill's advantage, she came to us. She's known as the great communicator. Um, she communicates everything to parents. She meets with parents. She calls parents. She writes long notes detailing everything to parents, what you can do, what your child has done, and so on. Um, she has done numerous things. She's been on lead the leadership committee, the SIP committee. She's been lead teacher. Um, she's an amazing teacher. Her children know that she cares about them, and they will miss her. I will miss all three. Who else can I talk about? Who knows Captain Kangaroo? <laughs> Remembers when there was black and white TV. Knows what Ed Sullivan is, because we were trying to explain to the younger people who the Beatles were. <laughs> and finally, I will just miss their advice, their professionalism, and their caring for their children. Thank you. Good evening. <clears throat> I am Lizella Dodson, principal of Portadale Elementary, and I am so privileged and blessed to present and honor Portadale's retirees. We really, really hate to see them leave, but we are happy that they have reached this milestone in their, in their lives. Our retirees are Ms. Jane Piper, wave Ms. Piper, and Ms. Evelyn Davis. Positive, energetic, smart, wise, professional. 
making things happen, dedicated, loyal, always going that extra mile, and having a genuine love for children. <clears throat> That's how we can describe these retirees. Mr. Uh, Nolly is also retiring, but he was not able to be with us because of illness. But together, these three retirees have a total of 60 years of service in education, 60 years of building and molding minds of our precious resources, our beautiful children. Ms. Jane, P Ms. Jane Piper is our kindergarten teacher at Porterdale. She has been teaching for 13 years. Ms. Piper says her favorite grade level would definitely be kindergarten. They help keep her young. Ms. Piper is energetic and always manages to smile. I asked her, Ms. Piper, you smile all the time. I've never seen you angry. She says, Dr. Dotson, I smile because it makes people wonder what I'm up to. <laughs> And I guarantee you, she's always up to good things. Ms. Piper is very family oriented. She enjoys spending time with her son, Jay, who's 32 years old, and her 90 year old mother, who's with her tonight. Wave, Mom. I told her, Amen. I told her mother I needed to see some ID. She doesn't look like she's 90 years old. I told her I need to talk with her after tonight. Ms. Piper has uh, so many memorable moments when she asked to describe a moment that she would never forget. And she says, I know it's going to sound like I'm making this story up, but I'm not. During my first year teaching, I taught my principal's only child. It was Becky's first year in school, and her mom, my principal's wife, taught down the hall. The Board of Education with the superintendent was literally directly across the hall from my classroom. She says, I really lived in a fishbowl under a lot of stress, but I survived that first year. When Ms. Piper retires, she is going to enjoy sleeping a little later spending more time with her family and friends, traveling, volunteering at her church, and working part-time as a social worker. Our next retire retiree is Ms. Evelyn Davis. Ms. Davis is the hardest working and the best counselor around. She not only counsels the students, but oftentimes she had to counsel our staff and yes, even me. But she tells me that counseling the principal is not part of her job description. <laughs> These ladies have worked really hard. Mr. Nolly has worked really hard. And we want you to know how much we appreciate all that you've done for our students, for our school, and for our community. You have touched so many lives in so many ways, and we thank you for providing a quality education to our students. As you retire, please know that we will miss you dearly. You will always have a special place in our hearts, and we do hope that you will come back to volunteer and visit us from time to time. We love you. We wish you Godspeed, we wish you peace, good health, and happiness as you embark upon retirement. Thank you. Ms. Fury, the number has gone down by two. I've talked both of them into coming back. <clears throat> so I've been working the entire dinner trying to convince them to come back. I actually think I have Ms. Bobby ready to come back, so we're... Still working on Ms. Gwynn. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm so pleased tonight to present to you two very special ladies, um, Ms. Bobby Browning and Ms. Gwynn Benton. As a prospective administrator in college, we were constantly reminded by our professors of our worth. As they stated in various ways, the school can run without you and the teachers, 
But you cannot run a school without the work of the custodian, the secretary, and perhaps most importantly, cafeteria staff workers. Based on my experience, they were exactly right. As educators, we are constantly reviewing the data and using that to determine effectiveness. Consider this data. 33 years of service, 11,880 cases of pizza, 178,200 pounds of chicken, 237,600 pounds of beef, 1,069,200 servings of pizza, 1,188,000 rolls and breadsticks, 4,752,000 meals prepared. Now that's a lot of meatloaf and homemade soup a lot of pepperoni and chicken fingers, and a lot of homemade rolls. I mean, whole grain rolls. <laughs> That's a lot of pizza, but no matter how you slice it, these ladies have worked hard to serve delicious meals to the children of our county, in some cases serving kids the only meal they received in a day's time. The numbers don't lie. The stat that I can't provide or measure is the one that shows the impact that these two ladies have had on the lives of so many children. They have served and in doing so have blessed and influenced the lives of young people. 1 Peter 4.10 states, As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Ms. Browning and Ms. Benton have used their talents to serve others. They have given of themselves to make sure someone else was provided for and in doing so have earned the respect of all of us associated with working with kids. But perhaps most importantly, they have earned the grace of our God. May it be said of all of us that we gave of ourselves for the benefit of others and provided a service that brings glory to God. It certainly can be said of Miss Gwen and Miss Bobby. My name is Renee Mallard, and I am the principal at Indian Creek Middle School, and I'm here to honor Miss Rosa Carr. One of the things that you need to know is that when I came to work today, I was in flats. But this lady deserved heels. So I made sure I changed to be here for you because that's how much I respect you and that's how much I appreciate you. Ms. Carr has had 18 years of service and she opened Indian Creek Middle School 17 years ago, which means she has been through lots and lots of children, lots of teachers, and numerous administrators and she has taken care of all of us. Some of the words that were used to describe Ms. Carr are great friend, dedicated, 12 years of perfect attendance, the kitchen seamstress for uniform alterations, a secret skill, and a positive influence on her peers and on the kids and on her staff. It was wrapped up with the phrase, she's a great cook. She has two daughters and two grandchildren and one great grandchild that she'll be spending time with. See, she knows. And one of the things that you need to understand is that this lady knows how to take care of people. Because I promise you, when I came through the line, she knew that I really, really liked the burnt part on the macaroni and cheese, and she would scrape that off for me. And she really, really, she knew that I really, really liked the crispy, slightly crunchy, burnt fried okra that's really baked, that's not on the menu anymore. And she would always make sure she saved that aside for me. And she just knew how to take care of people. And she smiled while she was doing it. So when you think about how many meals that she served, I can't even imagine how many smiles she gave to people. 
This lady has fed many souls with food and with her smiles. And you are appreciated and you will be missed. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Kisa Taylor. I'm the principal of Liberty Middle School. Standing before you today, I have Miss Elizabeth Beth Fishburn. One day I was looking, I was like, is her name really Beth? Because that's all I'd ever seen, but it's really Elizabeth Fishburn. She's a she was a language arts teacher at Liberty. She's taught for 30 years. 17 of those years have been in Newton County, which include Fairview, Clements, and she ended her career with Liberty. If you want to think about the epitome of a teacher that's a teacher of language arts, you'd walk into her classroom and you would absolutely fall in love with reading and writing. You had no choice. It didn't matter if you were male or female. It didn't matter if you had never put, picked up a book. But when you walked into her classroom, you would fall in love. One day I was walking down the hall and the kids, they were so excited. They were like, Miss Fishburne, she's so cool. She's so cool. I was like, why is she so cool? She had a place, um, the lyrics to a well-known rap song, and that was her hook for that lesson. And I think from the rest of that school, because I was like, let Miss Fishburne know about such and such. I'm not going to say the rapper because then they, we might get in trouble, Miss Fishburne. But they were like, let Miss Fishburne know about such and such. But that goes to show you she did whatever it took to reach our students. During our lifetime, we often meet good teachers. Yeah, oh, that teacher's good, that teacher's good. But standing before you today is a great and exceptional teacher. Liberty will miss her greatly. I will miss her. She was my go-to person. When things weren't going right, I said, come here, have a seat, talk to me, and she would shoot it to me straight. So Liberty will miss you. We love you. And she says she's not coming back because she's moving to North Carolina. And her husband is retiring this year from the DeKalb County from an alternative school. So they're both 30 and 30 years out. And now they're going to enjoy the rest of their lives with their children and grandchildren. We love you. Good evening, I'm James Peake, the principal of Veterans Memorial Middle School, and I take great pleasure in recognizing the following retirees. Mr. Preston Capes, Mr. Alan Johnson, Mr. James Little, Ms. Karen Reed, and Mr. V. I could spend countless hours talking about the accomplishments of these five people in education. But one of the things that I don't take for granted is that each and every day as a principal, I was able to go to work at Veterans and be around quality people such as these. I want to thank each of you for your dedication to our students, to our staff, as well as to our stakeholders. And I want you to know that the doors of Vet Veterans Memorial Middle School will always swing on welcome hinges for you if you want to return. Again, thank you for your dedicated service, and you will be greatly missed by all of us at Veterans. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, my name is Phil Davidson. I'm standing in for Dr. Owens, our principal, uh, who is uh, giving out awards at our senior awards night tonight. And uh, this year, Alcovey has three retirees, um, and we're really going to miss them. Uh, the first is Miss Mary Perry. Um, she's a special ed parapro. She has 12 years in the county. She was at Indian Creek before she came to Alcovey. Uh, she's a very hard worker. She always wants to find a way to help out. Um, anytime I've ever asked her to do anything, 
She's always very happy to do it. She works well with the kids, and uh, we're really going to miss her. Uh, the second retiree is uh, Brenda Repe. Um, she has 16 years in the county uh, since she's been back. She actually graduated from Newton High School and has been a teacher, a substitute, and a parapro for the last 42 years. So she has done, she's done a lot of time. Um, she's, uh, she's always got a smile on her face. Uh, the kids just love her. Um, she's been fun to work with. Um, uh, we're all really going to miss her. The last uh, retiree is Mr. Bill Gibbons. He's got 30 years of teaching. He teaches art. And um, he is a leader in the school and an icon in the school. I had heard all about him before, long before I ever met him. And um, very popular with all the staff, all the students. Um, he's helped me this year as I've moved into the administration role. And I'm really going to miss him. And so uh, we just want to wish you well. Uh, we love you at Alcove and, and just wish the best for all of you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Miss Linda Davis, who has served at Eastside High School as a special education paraprofessional. And uh, we've learned a lot about research-based instructional strategies, but I've seen lived out and demonstrated um, at Eastside High School by Miss Davis every day her experience-based instructional strategies. And these are pretty easy. So as a special education paraprofessional, this is what I've seen out of her. Number one, love kids. Uh, she has a heart of gold, and that value that she has on the inside is, dim is shining out, shown out every day. And whether it's a student that's, that's struggling in front of a computer, whether it's a student that is creating something, um, she is always there to love kids. Um, second thing, her strategy is work hard. Uh, you're not going to find a harder worker than Miss Linda Davis. Whatever the job is, she's there to do it. And um, it has been incredible for me to see that lived out by her. Um, so she loves kids, works hard. Number three is smile. See, there you go. And uh, every day. And the last thing is repeat. Uh, love kids, work hard, smile, and repeat. Every single day, Miss Davis has come to work. And, and not, not for the teachers, uh, not for me, and not for the other staff. She comes for the kids. And, um, and, and this, this, she transitions at this time to going from Eastside High School. She's just still carrying those same attributes to take care of her family. Um, and, and I know that every day, wherever she's at, whatever she's doing, she's loving somebody, she's working hard, she's smiling, and she's repeating it every day. So let's give a round of applause for Linda Davis. Good evening. I have the pleasure of honoring Diane Garrett. She is our school technology assistant. She believes in working hard every day, giving 100 percent, and she really does that, uh, supporting teachers in every possible way. Um, she really wanted to make sure that she helped the Career Academy get off to a good start. And uh, I must say, you have done that. We really appreciate it. Uh, this is her second career after 18 years in the corporate world. Uh, she's been in the Newton County School System for 16 years. Uh, before coming to the Career Academy, uh, she spent 14 years on the elementary level. Some of the roles that she plays here uh, at the Career Academy is coordinator of uh, social media uh, for NCCA, also assisting with testing. Um, one thing that really comes to mind when I think about Diane. Uh, recently, my father uh, has been in the hospital, and when she found that out, um, she really stepped up and took a large part of testing, uh, which I am responsible for that. Uh, she just pretty much told me, anything that I can do, uh, I'll, I'll do it and I'll help. And uh, she has come in early and stayed really late to help out in that role. And I really, really appreciate that. It really meant a lot to me. 
Um, she's also coordinator of all the events that happens here at the Career Academy. She actually set up for her own retirement party. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's really special. Um, when we hire people, uh, one of the questions that we ask uh, is, you know, just to make, them feel a little, make you a little uneasy, is give me five adjectives that your employer would describe you as. And I see it only fitting that on your exit that I give you five adjectives that I feel describe you. And the first is generous. The second, reliable. The third is exceptional. Fourth, articulate. And the fifth is truthful. I really uh, can't describe the last two years of working uh, in your presence. You've really helped out and you will be missed. One of her favorite sayings is when you ask her to do something, she'll say, I'll be happy to do it. And uh, we really appreciate you and you'll be missed. Thank you. I'm Peggy Bullard with the business department and it is with great sadness that I send off Miss Sandra Richardson. Do you recognize that name? She's one of the few people that can say she never misses her deadline. She makes sure we get paid every month. <laughs> what a job. And I can say for a fact, Sandra, you've earned every penny you've been paid by Newton County Schools. And you've earned this retirement. Congratulations. I'm going to miss you. Good evening. I'm Alan Satterfield, the Director of Special Education in Newton County. Tonight I'd like to introduce Ms. Linda Bramhall, who's retiring as a school psychologist for the county. She has 30 years um, in education. She's been with Newton County since 2000. Um, when you think of school psychologists, you think of evaluations and testing. Um, her evaluations and testing and reports and all that fun and exciting stuff are impeccable. But one thing that separates Ms. Bram Hall over the years that I've worked with, I've worked with her with four, through about four years through two different stints. Um, she goes beyond just those written reports and that testing, and she gives interventions and strategies to the parents, to the students, that make those students successful in ways that they wouldn't be without her support. Um, she also, throughout the office, I think you would see, if you were there you know, every day, her peers, me, and my staff go to her often for advice on those difficult cases. We don't really have many, but those that we do have, we go to her for some advice. And I would also like to say one thing about Ms. Bramhall is she has an unwavering calmness and professionalism about herself. Um, we have a day of the week, and we do something that's called CEC. Some of you may have heard it's a, it's a long, 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 long day where we do eligibility meetings. That day can be a little bit stressful, um, but throughout that day, I've always seen Ms. Bramhall stay calm, keep herself under control, and keep those of us around her under control. So I'd like to say thank you. I'd like to say thank you on, on behalf of New County School System and all the many schools that you've worked with for all your help. Thank you. I have with me tonight uh, two bus drivers, school bus drivers for the Newton County School System, Ms. Rosemary Thompson and Ms. Judy Landris. It, it was very easy to prepare for tonight. Uh, oftentimes you might find, sometimes you find it difficult to find nice things to say about some of the folks you've worked with, but tonight it, it, was, it, was, it was real easy to find some things to say about half of the folks up here with me. So. <laughs> Uh, tonight I am honored to recognize two ladies for their service to the school system. Ms. Judy Landris on your right. Uh, Ms. Landris has worked uh, for the school system for 10 years. 
uh, all of those years, she's transported special needs students uh, for our school system. Um, she is a person that I can definitely say truly cares about students, um, uh, cares about the students that are entrusted to her, uh, and I am very appreciative for that. Uh, she's excited about her retirement, though. She plans to spend a lot of time uh, working with a food and clothes ministry here locally. Uh, so thank you, Ms. Landris, for your service to the school system and to our community. Uh, Rosemary Thompson, or as I call her, Mary Rose. Uh, Rosemary has worked for the school system for 17 years as a bus driver. She's transported special needs students for the last three years. Rosemary loves her job and she loves her children. She loves her job so much that she became a school bus driver, a certified school bus driver trainer. Uh, in 2000 and she has trained many of our bus drivers on the road today. Um, I can always depend on Rosemary to do what's asked no matter what the circumstances, never ask any questions um, and that's not always what you get with everybody so I really appreciate that very much. Both of these ladies have demonstrated consistently a high level of dedication to students in Newton County uh, and I greatly appreciate that and I will miss you both very much. Thank you. not that tall. Um, so before I uh, begin my closing remarks, I would like to just recognize all of our retirees um, and thank them and honor them with a round of applause and a stand in ovation, please. Thank you very much for your service. We greatly appreciate all that you have contributed to the school system. Soon, most of you who are retiring tonight will leave your respective schools or offices for maybe the last time, and some of you have already begun your retirement. With you will go the accumulated memories of many years of service to the Newton County school system, times filled with work and laughter, memories of friendship, hardships and comfort, and hopefully memories filled with pleasure and pride. Those memories are inevitable and important to you, but what's important to us, your coworkers and friends, is that we have had the privilege of knowing and working with you. Having earned your retirement, we are delighted that you will finally be getting time for yourself and for your families. At the same time, when you leave, there will occur a very real and significant loss to our school system. You have been part of what has made our school system the very solid educational institution that it is today. We will miss you, and we are thankful for the time that you have dedicated to our children, families, and community. May God be with you, and may you enjoy many happy, healthy years of retirement. Thank you. Thank you. 